What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shaw. Shaw versus everybody podcast. Goddamn 109. We got motherfucking rapper. Motherfucker, you producer, dog. Yeah. Producer. And I, you you a part time singer, dog. Yeah, I am, <laughs> yeah, I am. You be man. harmonizing on those songs, dog. Good look, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We got it, the homie dog. Big Chip in the building, What's dog. What's the deal? What's the deal? What's good with you, bro? Same old thing, man. You know, I'm just chilling, man. You know, yeah, just trying sure. to do my best for real, for real. Mm-hmm. It's your first podcast, bro? You you done this before? No, it's my first podcast. Oh, y'all already know what's up. This nigga yeah. about to blow the fuck up, dog. <laughs> Every time they come to this bitch, dog, niggas gonna be reaching out to you, dog. Okay, trying to follow the motherfucking blueprint, man. For sure, for sure. The blueprint, dog. For sure. For sure. <laughs> you know for what sure. I'm saying? Now, uh, we um we got in touch cause of, uh cause your cousin shit, dog. He mm-hmm. was on the show, uh, shout out to uh, B Kern. Or whatever you Shout reached out, to out. Kern. you're gorgeous. They call him yeah. gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous. I was wondering why. Yeah, come because who gorgeous? gorgeous. Nigga? At first, I thought it was his daughter and shit. Though I'm like, no, I just what? he he broke it down and she broke down the science on it. Dog. Devilishly gorgeous, man. Yeah, that nigga said it. Dog. That was a good interview though. Dog. That was a good interview and shit, dog. <laughs> nigga uh, Hooper, he hooping uh, right now for uh, what's that? Um, the Detroit Hustle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's mm-hmm. like a little like um, it's like some minor league or like some. It's, that? A, it's a league that's it's a league that's right up under the D League. Actually, mm-hmm. it's my bro Jody team. Y'all, I don't know if y'all know Jody Hill or y'all uh, Jody Brizo. I probably know him by face. Yeah, uh, he, he, a dude, he a cool dude. That's my bro okay. or whatever. He got he owned a team or whatever with a couple other cats. Yeah, yeah. And it's a team that's it's it's a league that's right up under the G League. Okay, okay, okay. So it's like if you look at like the it's like NBA G League then the TBL. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they they playing like other niggas from different states and shit, traveling and shit like that too. Yeah, actually Owensboro. They they play Orange Bro in the six and at Loyola. Okay, okay, that's what's mm-hmm. up. Hell yeah, so yeah, shout them out. They mm-hmm. uh, what you uh, what you um, you you doing with them? I say you you know recording a lot of stuff and shit like that. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna be doing all of the film work for them yeah. and things like that. You know, that's you know, it's yeah, just yeah, it's yeah. brotherly love type yeah, stuff. Yeah. You know, so we gotta so keep you doing it all. a lot. You doing yeah. a lot, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So before we get into everything, bro, we always start off with a salute. You know, what I'm saying instead of you know, salute. Normal motherfuckers that people salute, you know, mom, pops, you know, saying kids and shit. If you got a relationship going on, whatever, you gotta think about outside of that. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot mm-hmm. of times you wait for motherfuckers to pass away, right, to give them a salute, right. You know what I'm saying? So you got you got anybody you want to go ahead and you know what I'm saying give right. some flowers to? First, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say unlimited blessings, peace and prosperity, life and longevity to everybody. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? My That's main right. salute is gonna be God, yeah. me, my and my kids, of yeah. course. You yeah. know what I mean? But Everybody else that come with that, that come with the team, yeah. that come with, you know what I mean, family, that come with, you know, the brotherhood that we building up, that come with people that I meet, you know what I mean, that I touch, yeah. things like that. Everybody, I want to give a salute to all of those people that's loved. And whoever touched me, yeah. like, in person and you feel my vibes or whatever and you understand the person that I am and you start looking at my art the way that my art is, yeah. I want to touch you too, sh- sal- uh, salute to you, yeah, yeah, yeah. all that good Yo, shit, man. Make sure you, yeah, everybody get that salute, dog. Yeah, you gotta do yeah, it like that. Get that. Yeah, 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 everybody get that. Because everybody be like, no, what about me? Because like, you forgot about me. Like, nigga, dog, you a part of that no, shit. No, you a part of that. Because all motherfuckers don't be like, like doing that shit because... Nigga might get jealous Like damn cuz Well I thought we had love Over here bro Yeah man you know Big salutes to everybody You know what I mean Whoever it is Hell yeah Dog real quick Before we uh, get to everything dog We was talking about Off camera about the Kanye uh, shit And he was talking about Like how he was Practicing for his Grammy speech Before he even won that bitch Was you type of nigga dog Cause I used to be a nigga at home Nigga going over my 106 and Park interview And shit dog Like with AJ and Free Like Hey listen You know what I'm saying Like did you do some wild shit Like that dog Hey listen I'm gonna keep it 100 with you dog Listen I'm gonna keep it 100 This is my first This is my first podcast So you know yeah. I'm like damn I'm about to really be on the podcast You know I'm a cool nigga Yeah So I call my cousin like Hey cuz Do I overdo it sometimes <laughs> Hey Cuz straight told me like you overdo it a lot, cuz. <laughs> Niggas like, a lot. Man, I'm like, all right, cuz. So after that, I just felt like I'm going to just come in. I'm going to try to be cool. But yeah, I'm yeah. always be me regardless. What you mean? Like, if when I you overdo it, say you I overdo it. Over, what you be overdoing, dog? Like, I don't know, bro. My, <laughs> my personality might be crazy sometimes. Like, yeah. it's crazy. It, it, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Dog, because I swear to God, nigga, everything, bro. Like, when I had real, like, rap dreams and hoop dreams and shit, I used to be like, Nigga at like uh, motherfucking free and AJ was interviewing me on one since apart, dog. So I be nigga just on some bullshit at the crib answering questions and shit, dog. Yeah, like, I've done that plenty of times before. I, I actually didn't do it for this, dog. I was like, I'm gonna come in and be me, you know what I'm saying? You know, I feel sure. like you a real nigga. When I watch your shit, yeah. you feel me? You talk real shit sometimes. I'm not yeah. saying sometimes. You, know what I'm saying? Yeah, you talk you. real shit, then you be playing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I like that type of vibe. You feel me? I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm gonna come in and be me. Yeah, because one chick, uh, shout out to Sherelle, when she interviewed me, she like, yeah, I didn't know you could be serious because you. You play around all the time, like 
I mean, of course you can be serious, dog, but nigga, with life is so short, dog, why be, you know what I'm saying, stuck up all the time, like. Right, dead ass. Yeah, nigga, I be, nigga, I joke, I joke, nigga, too much. My kids be getting tired of me, nigga, like. G code. I play too motherfucking much, dog. Yeah. But shit, man, uh, nigga, this year, bro, it's, it's about to be May, and, I mean, damn, it's about to be March. March. So, nigga, like, like, how your year been so far, dog? Like, you know what I'm saying? You feel like you moving in the right direction, or you, you know what I'm saying, you got some shit that you need to, you know what I'm saying, still get back on track and shit, dog? It's always things that I need to get on track. I need to be, I need to put my best foot forward even more. Mm -hmm. But this year, I manifested all of the things. Like, I knew it. So last year, when it came to my music, I dropped last year, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Of course, my I got the Nameless album or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. So basically, off of last year's progression, what I wanted to do was see what type of vibe I could catch and what type of vibe I could create with me first time. This is me. I'm fully doing it now. Like, yeah, I'm fully sure. doing it. Yeah, so yeah, once yeah. I get to this point now, it's this year, it's like, now I'm on a podcast with you. Yeah. I'm doing little movie shit on the side. Yeah. My my production shit is going crazy with my Lost Ones entertainment business. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm going in the right direction, but am I? Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, at yeah. this point, like, yeah, I like music, but now I want to do production. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hell like, yeah. so I'm like, all right, damn. So now you think like, which one should I focus on? Some yeah, shit like that. Yeah, but I love music, so I'm yeah. gonna always continue to make music. But yeah. really, is that what I really want to do? I say, nigga, do, do all that shit. Nigga. That's what Fuck I'm saying. It. Cause this nigga, like I call him Jamaican hero and shit, dog. Nigga, this nigga do everything. Nigga got podcasts, nigga production, taking pictures and shit. Shout yeah. a couple porno. See, like, what I'm <laughs> See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm for real though, all type no. of shit. Like you would be crazy with your art. No, you for sure. I think though, a lot of times, nigga, you can't just limit yourself to one thing. And that's what I've been saying. I don't want to box myself in. Yeah. So I'm trying to manifest all of the things that I can. Yeah. You feel me? That would not put myself in a box. For sure. So I can have different type of avenues that bounce off of everything. So, in a sense, I, I believe I'm going in the right way, but. Yeah. I don't know really. We yeah. we never really I mean, know shit. until it all happens. Yeah, like to be continuous. Yeah. Like, for real. <laughs> but no, that's how I do. I feel you, dog. Because even with the with the podcast shit, like niggas be saying they fuck with it, but then you be wanting that shit to move forward so quick, dog, and just see the outcome right now. Like, Man. you know what I'm saying? Because niggas are niggas. It's all about popularity, bro. Like as far as your numbers, who following you, things like that. For niggas to really fuck with you, you yeah, you know your shit dope. But niggas ain't gonna really give it a chance because you ain't the popular nigga. Mm -hmm, you feel mm -hmm, me? Mm -hmm, but yeah, mm -hmm. I say do all that shit, dog. Fuck it, man. So like, fuck it. That's then, what I'm gonna do. Because it might be one that you didn't expect to blow up more than the other. And then niggas gonna be like, who the fuck is he? Oh, he do music too? Bro, I'm in a short I'm in a short films, bro. I think that's what I really wanna do. Mm -hmm. I think I really wanna do short films, bro. Mm -hmm. I think I really wanna do that. Yeah, you wanna motherfucking be in one of these Detroit? Detroit movies are just like. It's not. They gonna be like straight, straight natural ambiance. Like yeah. straight natural ambiance. Like it'll just be. Sound things going on, just yeah. straight action, like for sure, whatever. You yeah, you want to shoot some shit yourself, like your own shit. Yeah, shit. What be what be your first thing, though? Like what would be like documentary? Right. Cause like, damn, that's right there with the basketball shit. That could be a short. That could be a documentary with You're your right. team. It could be. It could be. But my first real big one that I want to do is yeah. gonna be with my little. We must proceed. Like of course yeah. I say we must proceed. Right. Yeah. So. I was in Los, I'm not Las Vegas, I was in West Virginia. Yeah. And, you know, I'm hanging out and shit. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm kicking it with my peoples and shit. Yeah. So we drunk, we leave and we going to go to a club or whatever. Yeah. And we pull up to this little, you know, the, we pull up to a parking structure. But with the parking structure, you know those red and little things that go up and down like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to yeah. pay the toll, right? <laughs> so what happened was, now we drunk and laughing, smoking and shit. Yeah. It says, you must proceed. Mm -hmm. All in the car, we looked at each other. And we all looked and said, we must proceed, no, nigga, right? Fuck <laughs> hey, nigga fuck hey, we was fucked up. So we go in, boom. So now, basically, I want to, I want to shoot, I want to shoot shit like that. And yeah. and at the end, but in my in my sense, so we must proceed because all of the things and trials and tribulations that I've been through in my life. Yeah. I want to put it towards a sense like a things like that. Okay, for sure. There'll be things like there'll be just short films of maybe. Uh, old man mm -hmm. begging for some money type shit yeah, yeah, and a sh couple niggas dust him off yeah, yeah, you feel me but sure. then the last nigga give him yeah, yeah, a yeah, couple dollars some shit, type yeah. shit you hell feel yeah. me hell yeah for sure hey man if you ever make if you ever do some shit though you need like a 
Motherfucking nigga that bust out, nigga. That's me, dog. I got you, cuz. Yeah, th- I got nigga you. Thug number two, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I got you, cuz. It's on. All that good shit, dog. It's on. You feel me? I'm going to get it on one way or the other, dog. Just, I just want to cameo on that bitch. Like, I feel you. Look at that nigga shot. You'll walk through. Yeah, look at that nigga shot. I'll, I'll be a nigga who gave a nigga a dollar or two. Like, yeah, what? yeah. That type of shit. You know what I'm my, my bro be blessing, man, and shit, dog. I'm <laughs> telling you, bro. Yeah, that type of shit. Like, that type of shit, bro. We must proceed. Like no, I said, sure. yeah. unlimited blessings, peace, and prosperity. Yeah. Life and longevity, you feel me? For sure, that's dope, dog. Mm-hmm. Now, we talking about this year, what you got going on, dog, but what's some shit last year you felt like you needed to leave last year, nigga? Like, nigga, fuck that. I can't bring this shit with me, dog, because, you know, a lot of niggas be, you know, as soon as that motherfucking clock strike 12, man, it's a new year, niggas be like, man, fuck 2021, this, man. that, the third. Listen, I've, I've, I've let, I've even let people go, man. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. I've blocked people on yeah. all social media. I'm not even trying to be, <laughs> yeah. I'm not even trying to be petty or nothing. Yeah. Or like, I've blocked people on social media, energy, mm-hmm. as far as all of that. Yeah. I don't need none of that energy as far as if you're not an advocate in me and you don't want me to proceed in life. For sure. And you looking at me like how you seen me in the past. Yeah. Then you can be here. You yeah. feel me? But if you don't want to, if you don't want to treat me with no respect, like I treat myself with respect. I'm sure. myself's best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you feel gotta me? Be, gotta be. It be people who be like, damn, when they get mad at themselves, I'm, I'm a hoe. That's some hoe yeah. ass. I'm, I'm a weak ass, weak as hell. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't say that to myself. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I be like. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this next, the wrong this sure. this time, this time, this time, because I don't talk bad to myself, yeah, and I don't yeah. want people to talk bad to me. No, Even for sure. I don't, I'm not a sensitive ass person, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. don't talk bad to me, yeah, because yeah. I'm not, I'm not disrespecting shit, yeah. you. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like, what is you doing? You yeah. see what I'm saying? Hell yeah, dog. So you say niggas look at you in your past, like all right, like so what's some shit you had to change from the way niggas looking at you then to how you, you know I, saying still bring that shit I on? I can't, now. I can't because it's like all right. My mom got killed. Yeah. So they always, the thing about I don't I don't like to come around like I'm I be, I'm better outside of my neighborhood yeah. because of they don't know me as someone who mama got killed. Yeah, for sure. So I got saying? sympathy or whatever. Like, it ain't even sympathy. Like that, it's just that's all they got to talk about. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel you. I know them. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no. Like, I get it. I get it. It's all you yeah. got to talk about. Like, yeah. How you doing? How you holding up? Yeah. Cause my mom passed away. Uh, shit. It been ten. It be ten years in motherfucking April. So Man. I know what it is. Yeah, Thanksgiving 2010. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, about the same time. Yeah. yeah. Man. And that's all that's all niggas they'll pull up on you. It'll be going good. You in a good ass vibe. <laughs> nigga, we clubbing, nigga. We having a good ass time. We vibing. <laughs> nigga pull up on you, nigga. They get drunk and shit. Yeah, bro, I'm sorry about your this, this, that, like, that. Damn, nigga. Bro, like, yeah. No, oh, this wasn't even time for that, though. Now I got to counsel this nigga, and, and really, I'm the one who needs counseling. Yeah. Like, bro, what is you doing, bro? I'm not about Duh. to I'm not doing for this sure, right yeah. now. Like, nigga, you, <laughs> I, you saw me and this bitch getting nice little buzz. Now you bro, got... nigga, I'm popping on all of the hoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me and my bros going crazy yeah, and shit. Now, now you question the girl you ain't got on and everything, nigga. <laughs> like, dog, so uh, speaking of, like, like that, I, ain't gonna, I don't want to stick on too much and shit like that, but, like, when that shit happened, like, you growing up, did you have somebody to talk to, bro? Like, or is it still stuff you got? You know what I'm saying? That's still embedded in that you need to release, like, and maybe do need to see a counselor or some shit. Um, you know, as I got older, you was you had to be young, young as hell. Yeah, I was 18. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was that? When I got older, or whatever. Yeah. I kind of realized maybe it was something that I should have did. No, I really didn't have nobody to talk to. For sure. But that wasn't. It wasn't about having somebody to talk to for real, for real. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Like, that shit wasn't really about that. That shit was more about, like, who I was as a man at that time. For sure. Hell you feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, because you got to grow quick as hell. Hell yeah. Because, you know, when nigga shit, I, I learned that shit, nigga, when mom passed away, nigga, you already, shit, nigga, you can pull out your apartment, nigga, or some shit like that, you can go back to mom, crib, yeah, nigga. No miles, nigga. Motherfucker, so you always have somebody to go back to. Nigga, mm-hmm. niggas don't understand how important that shit is. Yeah, and, ain't no mom. Nigga, my mom, my, my dad passed away when I'm 13. Mom passed away when I'm 24, so I was like, dog, like, nigga, I got to get this shit out. I got to get it, like. got to do everything. And I got a kid, nigga, so I can't fall off. Two of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. You can't, I can't fucking fall off, nigga, because no. you ain't got that motherfucking crush, nigga. You and that bitch, like, Mm-mm. you homeless, nigga. You just homeless. You homeless. Nigga. You homeless. Hell yeah. I feel like a hobo, nigga, back when I first came to this bitch, nigga, I'm like, damn. 
I'm in my girl crib, nigga. I'm in my uncle crib, my grandma crib, nigga. Man. I'm in, like, damn, that's hey, listen, bullshit. That's how it be, boy. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap, boy. Nigga, I got that first one, one bedroom, nigga. I thought that bitch was a mansion, nigga. That's how it be, boy. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm in this house. My, my wife, she mad at the time because she ain't left a bigger crib for this shit. I'm in this bitch like, nigga, I ain't left your bedroom, nigga. Oh, hey, what you talking about? <laughs> I'm in my uncle basement. You want to come to the loft? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> Oh, my grandma at it, nigga, so it's cold as fuck when it's cold. It's hot as fuck when it's hot, nigga. So it's like, damn, man, I can't hey, wait till I get my shit, though. I got to come in the house at a certain time. I'm... Hey, man, dog. <laughs> dog, so you, man, like I said, that'd be that shit, dog, but it help you. It, it, it's a it's a fucked up situation. You look at it like that, but on the flip side, nigga, it help you grow up and it speed that, that shit up. That you ass. know what I'm saying? It mm -hmm. speed that shit the fuck up, dog. Well, let's get off that shit, man. <laughs> but no, rest in peace to uh, your mom, man. Same and all that stuff, dog. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. But with the music shit, bro, and with everything, nigga, last thing I'm going to ask until we, you know, talk about your come up, but what's some shit you be feeling like, nigga, like, that you might be holding yourself up with? Like, damn, nigga, I'm, I'm fucking my own self up. I don't get in the studio enough. Oh, shit. When it comes to the music. Yeah, that I don't get into something. the studio enough, and it's, and it's because I, I'm too picky of a person. Like, yeah. I'm so picky of a person, I'll be like, this nigga vibe ain't. <laughs> I can't create music with this nigga. You yeah, feel for me? Sure. You rushing me type shit. You keep reminding me of the time. Shit. Yeah, well, you yeah. feel me? Like, all right, cause yeah, like yeah. I'm on it. Cause I'm I'm already on it. You don't gotta tell me and nudge me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. It's so not it's you like, rushing that shit. Nah now nah, my vibe is like I can't create. Yeah. But when I so I cause when I was in when I was creating my music, I had my own shit. So yeah. you know I know my own vibe. I sat in the studio by myself. That's how I made um Nameless. Yeah. Hell but, yeah, dog. But shit, yeah. So you that's ain't. My problem, that's what shit you trying to invest in right now, like getting your own shit, so you ain't got to worry about being on no nigga exactly, time. Exactly. 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 That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, because that should be important as a rapper to have that right engineer, that right nigga. You know Man. what I'm saying? Man, I just be. But it's more about. It's more about sitting in a vibe yeah. and creating and then being able to instantly put down. Yeah, for you sure. You get what I'm saying? Hell it's yeah. It's more about that with me. I'm not the type of nigga who going. I can make songs at home. Yeah, you get what I'm sure. saying? Write it, this, this, that, and the third. Yeah. But at the time, it's more better. You yeah, get when you, what I'm saying? Yeah, right there hitting the music, getting the motherfucking, uh, 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 catching the vibe, catching the flow to it and shit like that. Because it's like a puzzle piece. It's more of a puzzle to me than a song. Like, niggas that get on a song and say anything, blah, 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 blah. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Man, dog, that's I think that was my problem when I was trying to uh, be a motherfucking master MC and shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, the studio shit, I wasn't recording, nigga. But then I'm not recording because shit, nigga. I'm kind of broke, nigga. So <laughs> hey, that's what it be too. No, yeah, that's so, what nigga, it be too. And I realized how much it costs to be a rapper. I'm like, yeah, fuck this, man. Yeah, no, that's why you got to do a whole bunch of other shit. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. So man, talk about you know what I'm saying you growing up, bro. Who was in the crib? You from the east or the west side, nigga? Shit like that, man. I'm from a uh, eight mile township. Okay. You know, white on me and shit. Yeah. Um, you know, I fucked around. I fuck around with a lot of people. My pops and my mom was in the crib, and then they end up separating type shit. You know how that shit go. Hell yeah. But um, other than that shit, I went on the east a little bit. Yeah. I was on out of drive, out of drive. What is that in between? Dickerson and Chalmers. Okay, you in the hood, hood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was over there, they got yeah. the. Yeah, but we ain't really come outside much. I ain't gonna count. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people, you know, people was as strict as hell. Like, Man. damn, <laughs> ain't go outside. Yeah, but yeah. they let us come down to Eight Mile on Y.O. and shit and come outside. So basically, yeah. that's where we was from. Oh yeah, hell but yeah. I mean, that's where I'm from for real. For that's where my people from. All of my people or whatever. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. That's my uh my motherfucking white people over there. Uh, what's that shit? Kentucky. Same mm -hmm. Mount Kentucky, yeah, 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 over yeah, there, yeah, yeah, nigga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's like when you from the east and the west and you go to that motherfucking side, you be like, shit, this shit different as hell, it's dog. Let me see the motherfucking, it's motherfucking it's portraits just observe y'all niggas real quick, dog. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nigga, so you say it, it, your moms and pops in the crib at a time, but talk, so talk to me about your musical influences, bro, because a lot of times you get that shit from your parents, what they playing in the crib. Mm -hmm. So what's some shit that they was playing in the crib, nigga, that you was liking just because that's hey. what you hearing, nigga? Man, my pops used to play my pops used to play all type of shit, bro. Man. You know what's that one shit, dog? Man, let me tell y'all. Uh, <laughs> this nigga used to play um, a Peter Parker, Pit Peppers, a Rock Rock. <laughs> <rhyme. laughs> you know, my pops used to be going crazy, though. I ain't gonna lie, he used to be playing some shit. Yeah. Marvin Gaye type shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Sam Cooke type shit. You oh, yeah, feel me? Rock him. 
Nas, yeah. KRS One was his man's. Yeah, oh, he yeah. old school for sure. Yeah, That's... he wasn't playing nothing else. That new, that new school. Hey, Mr. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's bullshit. Man, that's, uh, that's what I'm saying now to my son. Nigga, what shit he listening to? Like, nigga, that's yeah, bullshit nigga, he listening to. Bullshit, Tight jeans ass nigga. Right, what the fuck is going on? What about your mom? What was she on? She was on her RB tip? My mom was a Lauren Hill type chick, though. Yeah. You feel me? Uh, uh, Erica Badu type chick. So I already know your mom was a, a vibe then. Just off the music, nigga. Because yeah, that's shit that yeah. my mom listened to, yeah. nigga. Like, my you, mom was one of them Jill Scott type chicks. Yeah, she was, a, she was a cool person then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was that real shit right there, yeah, bro. My mom was one of it was hey listen we used to blow trees yeah me and my mom used to blow <laughs> trees nigga, i ain't gonna lie mom was g like that for real dog, she was that's funny as hell dog because i remember being a little nigga dog my, my parents smoked weed bro so i used to be like I remember I used to hide that shit from my friends that my, my, my parents smoked i thought that was a bad a bad shit <laughs> hell no everybody was coming over our <laughs> but crib, then, like auntie patrika <laughs> <laughs> but yeah then you start going to your homies crib like nigga your parents smoke weed too like, nigga, everybody smoke weed. Yeah, everybody smoke weed. Yeah, I used to be high that shit like that. We, I can't handle no company a day. Can't handle no company. <laughs> Smell like weed in the house. It's dumb. Hell no, I ain't. My, nigga, my, my dad grew weed. Nigga, had that bitch in the crib, nigga. Whole I'm motherfucking crib. Like mm -hmm. Smell like weed. He supposed, be, he supposed to be selling that shit, but he was on his motherfucking smoky shit. He was smoking that shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was a part-time drug dealer and shit, dog. Damn, damn. <laughs> so you say you listen to that shit, what, what they was listening to, dog. What about yourself, bro? When you... When you start listening to music for yourself, like who's your first favorite rapper, dog? Don't say the right shit like hoes and shit. Like who's your Man. real first favorite rapper, dog? Bro. <sighs> Cause my shit, nigga, was Chris Cross, nigga, MC Hammer and shit, dog. No, it wasn't up my like <laughs> him. Dog, my first favorite rapper. Yeah. Damn. That first motherfucker that really caught you, like, damn, this nigga cold. I, I, I. You don't know, even know shit. <laughs> Who was who was who was all right? Well, who was the popular nigga you fuck with then? They, they might fuck with Pac. I mean, you know I fucked with Pac. Everybody, everybody fucked with Pac. Yeah, but stumped that nigga on that motherfucking first favorite rapper there. I don't man, I don't know though. Yeah, so who was the, who was the niggas though you were fucking with though high school I, days? I like I like music. I'm gonna tell you, bro. I'm gonna tell you the hardest verse that I heard in a long ass time. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. J. Cole verse, that J. Cole verse on whatever that song goes when he said, When I, the day I was born, Sparks was flying. When I was crying, oh my God. He yeah. went crazy. Like, yeah. I like shit like that. Like, but it's like, I don't, I can't even. Far as, I, you know, I, don't, I can't even say that because I don't be really listening to people's music like that no, that much no more, for yeah. real, for real. So yeah. it'd be like, it's just like really I be around people that listen to music. But yeah. I I'm more to like into people who be doing like just like shit like what they art. You yeah. get what I'm saying? It's For more sure. like like I like Kanye because of his art. Yeah. You know, I like I yeah. like Tyler the Creator because oh, of yeah, his nigga, art. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like Kelly Uchi is because of her art. You yeah. get what I'm saying? It's so like, it's like a, it ain't just the music, it's like the whole experience. Yes. Shit. Yeah, yeah, you I get feel you, I feel yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like so you might so I'm surprised you wasn't a fan like nigga like Andre three thousand. Andre three thousand is a great example of yeah. probably my first favorite rapper. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I don't I, I can't say that either because I don't know. <laughs> I would have to sit back. I would have to sit back and really, really go back and listen because. Yeah. Of, nigga three thousand was a motherfucker pain ass nigga with his music nigga like he wasn't just like a rapper nigga like he was just it was more to his shit. That's yeah. why I fuck with him like nigga. I wish he would have dropped a, a project solo just to see. I mean, he did with that one shit, but it was still kind of a group effort. But I wanted to just see some shit strictly him that had nothing to do with Big Boy, just all him. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then my dream collab, nigga, I would love to see like if What's Ain't could have did an album together. Nas and motherfucking Lauren Hill. Like they would have did an album together, that shit would have been motherfucking crazy. Bro, listen, my next album, I keep on telling people this, and people keep on trying to tell me that that, that it's not gonna happen, and I keep on telling them that it is, bro. My next, my next album that I create, bro, the, the named album is gonna be in comparison with either Lawrence. Hill. It's gonna be comparison, not either. Yeah. It's gonna be com in comparison with Lauren Hill's "The Miseducation of Lauren Hill" yeah. album, or Kanye's. My Dark Twisted Fantasy. Yeah, I swear yeah. to God, that's going to be my... Because, of course, I sing, I rap. Yeah. I got crazy different songs. Yeah, for sure. But you need that shit sometimes, like, as as an artist, dog, to really, like, attract niggas. Because, I mean, um, old girl who was on the show last time was talking about that shit. Like, you can't be just, like, one-dimensional. 
Niggas gonna know what the fuck. Like, all right, we know a motherfucking bitch shit about to come with. Mm-hmm. Same shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So once you could do that shit and bounce from here, about that's why I think what's ain't so big as a, as an artist, motherfucking Drake. It's gonna he do so much shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? He might not yeah. be everybody's favorite, but that nigga, nigga he could do, he could tap into whatever. You feel me? Yeah, you can't Pop tap songs. into everybody's back. He'll yeah, go yeah. ahead and dish your ass. Yeah, marinate the pussy and sing it to it. Nigga, like that. you know what I'm saying? He For do whatever, real. nigga. So. Yeah. He getting every avenue. He got the hood niggas that like him, the females like him, the kids that like him. It's happening every bag. Hell yeah, dog. And that's where it be at for real, for real. Yeah, yeah. And Tyler, that I just I ain't gonna lie, I just got hip to him off this last album, bro. Like I been knowing he could rap, but I just really started listening to him now. Man, listen, and it's like I not I like I not like a uh rapper or or his music or I not like it, bro. Yeah. And then I'll watch their videos, bro, and I'll become a fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? I'll watch their creativity behind their music, bro. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like I like songs that's not just like just rap. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. We can sure. be just rapping in this bitch all day. Blah 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 rapping all day. You feel <laughs> yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to creating a song like that, that's what I like. I like shit like that. For so sure. I listen to it, maybe I don't like it. Then I'll be like, let me check this shit out, see if they got a video to it. Or when they yeah. I anticipate, you feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If they gonna drop a video for it, look into them. You yeah. feel me? See if they doing a rollout for it. Because I like rollouts. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. You know what I'm the saying? Right one, yeah. 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 So now I'm looking at their rollout like, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. You feel me? It's crazy you said shit because you the first person I said, I, 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 I had on show that said they, they anticipate a motherfucking video. Yeah. Because niggas don't met. For the most part, Detroit, nigga, we know kind of videos niggas make it, dog. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> but you know you're gonna be, they gonna be on the scene, you know, yeah. money, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, bitches Doing and bitches in the strip club, guns, you feel <laughs> me, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's that's Detroit. That's, yeah. That's our culture. Yeah, for sure. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. of course, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, because nigga, like, any them, like, we, we talk about one system part, dog. Like, when you sit there and wait for a video, like, dog, that's dog. Those that's were the days, wasn't it? Yeah, Those was the days. Because I'm trying to think back to, like, dog, my, my favorite video ever, dog, like, I know the one who scared me the most was Thriller and shit. Michael Jackson. <laughs> funny as hell. <laughs> nigga, as a little nigga, it's like... What? You funny as hell. That shit had me shook, nigga. Was, oh, that bitch. But then I remember like... Five years a Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Master P, dog, when they was on the basketball court, what's that shit? Make them say, uh. I think that it was that one, whatever. Yeah, everybody was on that bitch rapping. Mia X, mm. Silk Shock, Mystical, like... Bam. It was those type of videos. Like, what, what's some videos you, you remember? Like, damn, like, I, that was that was my shit. Videos, bro, um... What was that? That Air Force One's video? <laughs> hey, yeah. Air Force Hell One yeah. video is going hey, crazy. That, that, that nigga nearly a check, dog. Shit, hey. <laughs> Listen, um, Sierra videos going crazy. I ain't gonna lie. What's that shit? Um, oh yeah, I used to love looking at her shit. This cause this for her dancing niggas. Yeah, nigga, nigga uh, the moves and shit, nigga. Nigga, we watching um fucking. Who is those fucking videos? Bro, it be so many videos. They just yeah. running through my head right now no, so much. I can't even put them it, out. Remember uh, MTV Jams, nigga? You watched, nigga, all day videos, nigga. Bro, that shit was it, bro. All that fucking shit day. was it, bro. That shit was it. Now, now, you, what, how would you as a, as a, as a, as a, uh, as a student, bro? Like, what school you went to? Like, what was, was you focused on school? Or was like some shit that you look back on now? Like, I wish I would've gave it more effort. Um, I was a good student. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I wasn't no, I wasn't no, Grade A student type type nigga like, mm-hmm. but I could have been if I but took yo, it serious. Yourself, you get yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, like yeah. if I if I chose to take it serious, yeah. I could have been literally a grade A student, but I didn't take it serious. So I probably I was probably the average student if you want to look at it statistically. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. then I didn't even graduate on time. But yeah. of course, you know I had situations. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna. You know what I mean? It yeah, was yeah. my it was my fault why I didn't. For sure. Hell yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, and I had to realize that. Hell yeah. So, was you into sports, nigga? Was you hooping? I was playing football, okay. and I ran track, and I hooped a little bit. You yeah, know what, what position mean? you playing football? I was a quarterback, man. Oh, I'm shit. A quarterback, <laughs> wide receiver, and cornerback for real, for real. I end up playing. I end up playing though, yeah. wide receiver and cornerback at uh, at the end of my career though, for real, for real. Oh, what school, nigga? Ferndale. Ferndale. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Hell yeah, nigga. I, my 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 football shit was real quick, nigga. I hit. Man, and I, was, I quit. Oh nigga. man, I swear to God, I ain't gonna lie, dog. Listen. <laughs> If my coach ain't if my coach ain't hold me for real for real, but listen, niggas say this. Yeah. Man, listen. If all my niggas listen, everybody know from Ferndale, dog, and y'all niggas all know <laughs> who is the GOAT. Nigga, y'all niggas all know that. You feel me? Like and 
We had a cup. We had a couple other niggas that was some goats too. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. If if listen, I'm not gonna lie. Listen, if Coach Dunlap would have let me run quarterback, bro, <laughs> listen, I'm about to tell you. Listen, no cap. Right. <laughs> listen, he put me at wide receiver on some goofy ass shit, bro. Yeah. I played quarterback all the way up, bro. I, I was our quarterback. Yeah, for sure. You feel me? Yeah. Like, well, why would you take me out of my position? And then I know these niggas will. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. Me? Listen, I had a white boy named Nicholas Cooley, bro. Yeah. That nigga caught every pass. Yeah. yeah. So you knew that nigga. That was your, that was your Cooper. Cup, nigga. Listen, that was my Cooper <laughs> Cup. Back then, he was my Cooper Cup. Like, comparison, bro. He wasn't the fastest. He wasn't as fast as Cooper Cup, though. Listen, yeah. then Brandon Pittman would have been playing tailback. Yeah. Boom. Mark Mark would have been our fullback, even though he had a bow leg. D'Angelo <laughs> was my court, my was my center. Yeah, 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 bro, yeah. Fred would have been my tight end. You feel my me? Nigga had all way. <laughs> bro, nigga, I swear to God, bro. And listen, before that, I had a nigga named Charlie Walker, but Charlie had ended up leaving. Yeah. You feel me? Who left? That was my nigga, bro. I swear to God, bro. Yeah, yo, man, damn, me? coach, you fucked up, dog. Coach fucked us up, bro. <laughs> Guess what? Them niggas boofed our season, man. Man, I damn. was mad as hell like coach for that shit. I ain't gonna never forget that. Yeah, I, I, I can ain't. tell. You know everybody. <laughs> 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 I got no, but that be some shit, bro. Man, you, no, I'm telling you, dog. The right coach is fucking important, dog, to you, nigga. When you playing sports, bro, the right fucking coach is so vital, dog. Like. Nigga, he, he can fuck everything up about you. Then you can start questioning yourself, nigga. Like, like you could have been like, damn. No, I ain't question myself. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> He's like, nigga, I'm good. Nigga just ain't come my way. Yeah. Damn, that's fucked up, man. You fucked up, Coach Dunlap, nigga. Yeah, you fucked if up. If you watching man. this, nigga. Everybody know that, though. <laughs> that nigga said he had Cooper Cup over that yeah, bitch, man, nigga. Boy, listen. Me and my, my, I swear to God, my nigga, Nick, my nigga, Nick, at least be in the in the league, at yeah. least, yeah, at least. Man, hell no. So you had, like, you had for real, like, some, you had some um, on football dreams, like, and they be having hoop dreams. With Man, I had football dreams. I ain't gonna lie, I had football and track dreams. Truth be told. Yeah, what you run that track, dog? I ran a four hundred. I did the yeah. high jump. Yeah, and I did the four by one and the four by two. Man, dog. Yeah, yeah that shit was lit. Yeah, nigga, cause I, I was, I was hooping, bro. <laughs> then. I was hooping my little my little suburban school, bro. Then the niggas found out I moved back to Detroit. So once mm. I was done my 10th grade year, it kicked me out. Damn, that's fucked up. So I went to Southeastern, nigga, like, oh, 03, oh, 02. The niggas already had they. I'm not knowing that niggas in Detroit pick their squad. They get their eighth graders. Like, they know who's going to be on their squad. So I get that bitch trying out, nigga. It's, one, make it's it. one spot, nigga, available. Nigga, it's like 60 niggas trying out, bro. Damn. I'm in that bitch doing everything to make this motherfucker. I'm, <laughs> I'm running the shit. I'm I'm throwing oops like nigga, rest in peace, Coach Stevenson, dog. Mm. He was like, man, you did incredible, you did a good job. Damn. I'm telling my mama, like, you ready for this high school? I'm about to be in this motherfucker. I went to go look at my name, nigga. I didn't see Sterling, nigga. I went to the bathroom, nigga, cry like. Man. That was in my high school career, nigga. <laughs> man. Like man, cause they had squad too, bro. I'm man. like, I'm like, all right, I know I'm gonna come off the bench this next this first year, but next year I'm gonna go crazy. So yeah, that's some whole shit. Man. I was kind of rude as a kid too, though. I got the, I used to get on their ass about not playing me, bro. So they had really not played me. <laughs> oh hell yeah, I already bro, know. Yeah. Me? So, Coach not liking you because of how you are yeah, and shit, attitude, bro, whatever. Hell no, nigga, y'all already took me out of my position. Mm -hmm. These niggas, they on the sideline. Put number seventy. <laughs> <laughs> hell what yeah. What you doing? He <laughs> just throwing picks. He don't even know these guys. No, that's fucked up, dog. Now, now before we get to you know saying your album and shit like that and everything, what's some shit, bro? That you wanted to be or do, that you just never motherfucking put no effort in. That's some, maybe maybe niggas look at it as, as silly, like me, like nigga. I, I, I say this shit all the time, but like I use for example, nigga. I want as a little kid, I wanted to tap dance. <laughs> Like, I wanted the motherfucker tap dance, play the piano, nigga, and no karate, nigga. Like, I, like I wanted to, I wanted to write books, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah. I'll write a book, bro. I think I, I, I don't know though. Like people be like, man, that silly ass. Be Arthur and shit, this motherfucker. Yeah, Hell, but, yeah. But you, can, you know, nigga, that's something else you can still do, nigga. Yeah, I know, I know. Motherfucker, Arthur, yeah. chill, nigga. <laughs> still right. Still real. Hell yeah, dog. Man, <laughs> now with the music shit, like you said, you, you know, what I'm saying you. Football dreams coming up in high school and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But when, at what age, at what point in your life, dog, you really wanted to tap into this music shit for real, for real? I actually been doing music basically the whole time, for yeah. real, for real. But it was like, like the first song that I came out, really, these, man, sh uh, shout out to uh, fucking Ski Double, mm. shout out to J Rail, shout out to fucking uh, Bash, shout out to fucking, um, uh, 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 
Drew, yeah. shout out to her. You feel me? All the Boomerang boys, shout out to yeah. Full Circle. Like, dog, hey, listen, shout out to Rock Boy, Rock Boys. Hey, what? Hey, what? This y'all crew, nigga. Hey, listen. Beat, nigga. <laughs> Dude, hey, listen, shout out to all them niggas, yeah. man. Shout out. All of them niggas, Grand Marquise, man, he was the first nigga to get me in the studio. For real? Hell yeah, it all like, man, we've been doing that shit for a long time, though. These like, niggas you, you still be fucking with as far as the music shit? Uh, actually, no, not really. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even on no funny shit. We just, you know, everybody got their separate yeah, ways. Yeah, for sure. It know? happened when you get older. We was and kids shit. and shit. Hell yeah. You know, even, even niggas in, that was in groups. And singled up and shit. You Hell know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell yeah. But yeah, when you young, you thinking y'all need to be cool forever and shit, dog. You know how that be. Real life hit, nigga. Yeah, like, you know how that be. Nigga get kids, nigga get you lives and shit, dog. Yep, just like that. <laughs> Hell true. yeah, dog. So you say you the whole time you 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 wanted to do music. Yeah, I've been doing music for a long ass time. But I started off a singer, though, for real, for real. I ain't yeah. even gonna lie to you. Hell yeah. Was you one of them niggas, dog, that was using a cheat code, nigga, to get on chicks, dog? Man, come on, man. <laughs> Yo, hey, come on, man. Come on, man. Dog. <laughs> come on, I always hate niggas like you, dog. Shit, come on, man. man. Hey, listen, though, but listen, though. My mans used to put it on me, though. They used to be like, yeah, bro, I blocked they split, dog. Man. I'd be like, bro. Alright, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that was a cheat code. Cheat code. Nigga seen nigga be hey. doing a whole Chris Brown video, nigga, Man. to a motherfucking <laughs> cheat dog. Hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, what they they used to have me seen that. Uh what they used to have me see, <laughs> girl, take those fucking heels off. I swear, <laughs> they used to have, used to have me going crazy on that bitch. Dog, I be hey, wishing, like, nigga. I wish I could say it, nigga. I swear, <laughs> I swear, I use that shit, dog. I would have used that shit like a motherfucker, dog. Yeah, they used to. Yeah, like, put it, put, put that lay you down on it, bro. <laughs> put that lay you down on it, dog. Funny <laughs> as hell, dog. Man, that shit used to be funny as hell, dog. Man, like, I, I got her, nigga. I got her, nigga. Dog, yeah. what about now with your name, dog? Like. I always been jealous of niggas who had like cool nicknames or cool names, nigga, because I'm just shy, nigga. My name is shy. Nigga, it was lazy. It's called me shy. So, how you get the rap name, uh, Big Chip? Oh, my God. And what was some shit? That's funny. What was some whack names that you might have had, like, nigga, like, had at first, but you like, this shit ain't gonna work? Listen, so, so everybody know me as Noodle. Okay, okay. <laughs> Talk about that, nigga. How you get that? <laughs> Man, my nickname is Noodle, man, and people still call me Noodle to this day. And my and my first name is Mac, right? All right. So people really call me Mac Noodle. Yeah. Like I never really had a funny nickname. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just I just re recreated myself and named myself Big Chip. But I'll tell you what. All right. But I'll tell you about Noodle though. So <laughs> Noodle is a name that I got from my peoples or whatever from basically when I was a kid. For sure. And long story short. My mom fed me some noodles, yeah. you know, like some stringy noodles, yeah, like yeah, yeah. ramen noodles type shit. For sure. And I was eating them like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Eating them up the yeah. whole time. I'm eating them up and shit like that. They laughing at me and shit. He yeah. like noodles. He like noodles. Yeah. He like noodles. For sure. Long story short, we fuck around and come past a couple days, I guess. A couple days end up sliding past or whatever, right? Yeah. So... However long this has been, now this day I'm just crying hysterically, yeah. crying hysterically. <laughs> you know, I'm crying then a motherfucker. They try to feed me a bottle, I smack the bottle out my hand. Yeah. They try to change my diaper, I don't need my diaper changed. Yeah. They trying to change my clothes, thinking I'm irritated. You know, give me a bath, yeah. all type of shit. I'm try crying, I'm pissed. <laughs> so my auntie, she had made, she was cooking some dumplings and shit, like some chicken and dumplings and some shit. My auntie Lynn. Yeah. Okay. I guess my mind pops had got some the chicken and dumplings and mashed them up type shit. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? And then they fed them to me. And after that, I wasn't crying since. Yeah. So they've been calling me noodle every yeah, since. Yeah. Type shit. You feel me? Like that nigga, the noodles calmed them down yeah, and shit, dog. Yeah. They called me noodle every since. Dog. But um, so that's been my nickname. Everybody called me noodle. They still call me noodle to this day. All right. My first name is actually Mac for, for real, for real though. Yeah. And with that being said, people call me Mac Noodle. Okay. So they be like, what up, though, Mac? New, noodle Mac, mm -hmm. New Doski, Noodle Rono, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? New School. Yeah. Like, I always no, had No, has got remixed the shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't you be Noodle, nigga? Yeah, like, it's a, everybody got a different, everybody you call me Noodle in their own different way. Like, yeah. so that's 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 what's funny about my neighborhood, too, though. Like, I ain't no, no down plays on my neighborhood. I love them to death. You know what I'm saying? They all got their funny way of how they call me Noodle yeah, and shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's so, funny as so. hell. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Then I, I changed my name to Big Chip just because I wanted to re recreate myself. Like I got music, I got music as Mac New. Okay. You get what I'm saying? But 
I just wanted to recreate myself, you know what I mean? For sure. Because I seen like I seen like that's what's cool. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Like and it's not even I just seen that that's what's cool is like just recreating yourself is 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 just something that I felt like I had to do like For just sure. to evolve. Yeah, 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 you get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So my my evolution name is Big Chip. Yeah. And basically I live with a chip on my shoulder and then that's why it's Lost Ones Entertainment. Mm. It's the things that we lost. Yeah. And that's the reason that we won. Okay. So for everything sure. that we pick up is a win from here. That's deep. Hell you yeah. Know what I I'm like saying? that shit. Yeah, and yeah. that's why I be putting hashtag we must proceed. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It's dope when you D brother, dog. That's yeah, it. Yeah, no, that's yeah, dope, yeah, but yeah, big chip, yeah. yeah. Yeah, cause I live with a chip on my shit, dog. Like mm -hmm. I be, I remember shit, nigga. Who hold me? Who did this? Yeah, who, yeah. Like, you know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm a spokesperson for people who like that. Like yeah. if you got a big chip on your shoulder and yeah. you trying to strive to get through this shit, for sure. You feel me? Hell yeah. Through all of the the pain and the pressure and all of the things that come with this shit. Yeah. That's who I'm. I'm the spokesman. Nah, for I'm sure. the spokesperson for you. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm I'm how you feel when you talking to females. Hell yeah. I'm how you feel when you get into a bag. I'm how you feel when you just depressed. Yeah. I'm how I'm I'm all of your feelings. For sure. That's, that's, I'm the like spokesperson for you. Hell yeah. You feel me? I like that shit. That's dope as hell, dog. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what big chip is. Yeah, you got meaning because niggas just be having names and be like no meaning behind that bitch. Like, man, you know, I was bored to create a nigga fuck on West Side Gun or some shit. On <laughs> 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 West Side motherfucking shot and shit, dog. Mm -hmm. Seven mile shot. No. You know what I'm saying? It's always deep to have a meaning behind your shit though mm -hmm. when you can really break it down and explain it to yeah. a nigga. And you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's dope. Mm -hmm. Who's the first nigga that told you you was dope, nigga? Like Damn, uh, man, when you was mad new to this shit, man, <laughs> listen, bro, my bro, Bree's always been an advocate of me, dog. Like, yeah. he always been an advocate of me, like, bro, dog, this, bro, this, bro, this, bro, dog, this shit, bro. Yeah. Then my little cousin B Mark, my little cousin B Mark, probably, my little cousin B Mark, probably my biggest fan, though. He always What's telling up? me, bro. Nigga, no, bro. Yeah. Like, he a, he a hood ass nigga. Like, nigga, no, bro. Fuck all that hoe ass shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This like, nigga, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> what's up? Mm, yeah. Hell no. Nah. Now, you was talking about earlier about how, you know what I'm saying, studio, you need that vibe and shit like that. What's some shit that you gotta have in your studio sessions, dog? Like, some niggas need hoes, some niggas need liquor, weed, quiet, live niggas. Like, bro. what you need to have a good studio session, bro? Bro, listen, I just need, I just need basically. Somebody I can bounce ideas off of. Yeah. You feel me? For sure. Like, just let me, like, when I'm in my thoughts, don't be always trying to rap loud. Like, because I don't, I don't want to hear your cadence. I want to yeah. write my cadence. You yeah, feel me? I want to sure. write how I want to write. But but if I get to rapping out loud or whatever and I ask you how this sound, yeah. you be like, uh, no, nah, bro. Like, be like, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah, all right, cool. All right, cool. So then I get to rapping, blah, 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 blah. And then um, I be like, what do, what do this mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, do you think this a fit if I put this right here? Like, do that? Would that make sense? Yeah, for sure. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so you need somebody who's gonna just be there for a purpose and shit, not yeah, just somebody like, just there just to fuck yeah. around. Like, I mean, it can be a vibe sometimes. It depends on the song, but I'm not that. Like, I don't like my songs not like that. Like, yeah. I I I guess I should probably make more songs like that, but yeah, for sure. It's more. I just need more of somebody who can just. I can just ask like a couple questions and they have a knowledge a deep knowledge of different things you yeah, know what yeah, i'm saying yeah. i like people around who have deep knowledge of things yeah, yeah, yeah you get yeah. what i'm saying no, yeah i feel you i peep out yeah, mm -hmm. yeah now and like i said you dropped uh nameless in um 2021 january and shit mm -hmm. like, how was the response for it you know what i'm saying do you feel like <laughs> it deserved more love or you know, are you you rocking with the love you getting or you know what i'm saying what what what, what is it? hey man listen when i hey listen when i drop bro and I was looking at my distro kid shit, bro. My yeah. shit was at zero, bro. No. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I'm not about to have nobody about to fuck with my shit. No. Like this shit is fucking dead. Like yeah. I'm, I'm scared. Like I'm. I'm scared. For sure, I feel you. you. Feel I already me? know, nigga. That's how you drop podcast and get one view in that bitch. <laughs> so like damn, I'm fucking scared. Like <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. But as time progressed, it was like twenty. It's yeah. like okay. No, some people listen to my shit. Yeah, then yeah. it go stag, then it go 21 for like two, <laughs> five <laughs> days. Like, <Yeah>. damn. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So now I'm trying to push my shit and shit. But, you know, I'm, I'm appreciative of 
I, I always want more. Yeah, for sure. You feel you me? Always, I want the yeah. biggest and the biggest picture. Like when it's the big picture and then the big picture and then the big. I want the biggest one. Like if if yeah, it could yeah. be the biggest one, the but the biggest biggest one. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Sure. Like yeah, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Like even if it's the biggest biggest one, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, like yeah. like what the fuck? Infinite like, is motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, you get what I'm saying? But. Yeah, man, dog. I, I don't know, dog. Yeah, but shit, what you 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 feel like there's some shit you could do to push it a little bit more? Like, cause I, I see you you did some shit. Uh, was it, it was it like a showcase or something? DJ BJ had. Oh yeah, yeah, I did some slick yeah. shit with DJ BJ. Yeah. yeah. So like some shit, like, but with me, I just know like with the podcast shit, bro. I just like, um, I know how uh, Instagram is. Like, you send twenty messages out there, motherfucking, you know, saying have your shit blocked for a day or some shit. So I I, I used to like. When this shit first came out, I used to send my shit to like ten people every hour. Mm -hmm. Every hour, I send my shit ten people, ten people. So what? Like, are you 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 think you doing enough to feed that do, shit? I don't be doing that enough sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't be doing that enough sometimes. Sometimes, but but I'm so I'm such a I'm such a like uh, I'm I, I might be I might be a little too art, artsy yeah, yeah, yeah. when it comes to it. I might my. Oh, I, I might need to be like when it comes to my music. I just want to like my picture for it is different. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, it's, it's music, but it's like I want to roll it out to you yeah. the perfect way. Yeah, for sure. You yeah, feel yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Like so that you can actually be interested in how it's coming out. Like just to, like I want you to experience music how I experience music. Yeah, for that's sure. that's the that's the main reason that I do music. Like yeah, but that's the thing, niggas. <laughs> the way niggas listen to music now is different, bro. Like niggas, I like, used to sit with a project for a long time. Now niggas drop on Friday, you listen to that bitch on Friday, Saturday, then you gone. I don't, I, I want See, you to me, be nigga, like, I, I, I want like, you to be a fan yeah. of what I do. I listen you know what I'm when I listen, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm at work, nigga, listen to the same album on repeat, nigga, for a couple hours. Like, yeah. That's just how I listen to music. Like mm -hmm. I know niggas like probably like I I think you say did you say you listen more so in the car or some shit like that or something like that? Yeah. Like you got car niggas And that's listen. and that's what I I'm a I'm a car nigga too. Like yeah. my music, look, if you look at my picture, I'm in a car riding. I'm yeah, by myself. For sure, for sure. It's like that's the my 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 album, the nameless album is mainly for you to chill, ride yeah. back and listen to you when you when you're in the car. Maybe you can be with your fees. Yeah. You feel me? Like your little piece or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And you just ride and type shit because you done left the club that banging song I was about to left say, your ears. You, little, you, you, you buzzing a little bit, but it still ain't too Yeah, yeah. You let the you window just chilling, You feel me? Hell like yeah. you just ride and you just catching a vibe. And that's all I do is I make vibes like that. You for feel sure, me? for sure. Hell yeah. Now I usually do a uh uh, with, so with Nameless uh, I don't you, I know you say The next album Will be called uh, Named right? Name. So how, Name. what, what, what what's, what's, the, what's that whole concept Nameless and then Name Like Alright so So The reason that I'm Really gonna drop Name now Is because you see Like you asked me Did I like the outcome Of my music No I didn't have A thousand and yeah. a, a thousand billion streams Or whatever like sure. that but you know I had them and I and I have And I have people Comment and I see Like the, the flow mm -hmm. And how it go Or whatever right yeah. So I appreciate it of course, but I'm and I'm not one of them bot type niggas like buy bots like yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Niggas do that shit though. That shit, a lot. <laughs> that shit weird. Lot, like dog. I'm gonna take like if, if that 697 yeah. is 697 plays. Like, Hell yeah, and that's cool. Sure. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? Like it's gonna be more once they they be able to reach back. Yeah, for sure. But so. Like as it's been going up, I'm like, yeah, now I can really go from nameless to name. Yeah. Like, of course I wanna I'm gonna roll out a couple more songs on, mm -hmm. you know, um the nameless album, like mm -hmm. Friends. That shit really, hard too. I like that shit though. Good look, I appreciate it. Yeah. I really wanna get with the I think they call it the the uh T C B or something like that. The mm -hmm. creation the creation club or something like that. Yeah. And like, I mean, artists go to them or whatever to like get stages set up and shit like yeah. i want to make a real i want to make it like a yeah. like you see a video like if you see like a video like them top videos that just came out that was just trending that jack that jack harlow yeah that fucking all of those songs that kodak black yeah. all those that all those that was just up there mm. i want my shit to be like that like i want my shit to be yeah, for sure. Yeah. Beautiful, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, I feel gorgeous. Yeah, yeah gorgeous. You feel me? <laughs> Devilishly gorgeous. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I feel. Now I always do like a depending on the the the, the level of a project. I do a top three or a top five. Mm -hmm. I I give you mine and you give me yours. Mm -hmm. So top five for me on on on, on there is uh this this uh, this a sport. Good look. Uh, friends, out the mud, up in the sky, and my aura. Those your top five? Yeah. What's your top five on that? Because it's like what? Um, it's, yeah, if it's I 12, me, it's 12 songs, songs yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, my top five, okay, is uh, 
of course, this is sport. That's my favorite song. Yeah. Friends, of course. Mm-hmm. Phone sex. Mm-hmm. Um. My aura, get yeah, my aura definitely. Yeah, that's your yeah, heart. and up in the sky, of course, mm-hmm. of course. That's your of five. Course. That's my five. Hell yeah, hell that's yeah, my five. That's what's up. Now I, I got this one part called "Talk About the Bars." I take a piece of a, a right, bar or something like that. We t- we we elaborate on it. Bet. So you say, um, you say I took a risk until better came off of friends. Mm-hmm. So when I look at that, that could be. You could, you could. I took a risk until better can. It could be, nigga, when you do illegal activity, that could be. I took a risk with this job because I know it's some bullshit, but mm-hmm. I gotta take this motherfucking job right now. I took a risk with, you know, what I'm saying, uh, uh, leaving this motherfucking chick. Mm-hmm. I, I know I shouldn't be with. Like, what would you talking mm-hmm. about though, as far as that shit? I was talking about without getting yourself incriminated. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I was just talking about really just taking risks, like far as mm-hmm. like. With my music, yeah, and oh, yeah, like sure. I'm, I'm, what I was gonna do. Listen, I said, "Fuck it, I'm not, I'm not gonna work. I'm gonna just go straight up. I'm gonna go straight, straight into being an artist. Yeah. I'm gonna go into this full time artistry. I'm gonna just try to make shit happen, mm-hmm. and I'm just gonna hope that better come. Yeah, for you sure. Feel what I'm saying. Hell yeah, hell so that's yeah. why it's like I'm talking to my friends on that song. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Like, look, y'all, man, look. I'm about to do this music shit full time. For sure. Hell you yeah. You get what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And that's a risk, nigga. Once you jump mm-hmm. in there and shit, like, yeah. uh, if, on a business, on music, yeah, whatever. Yeah, like, listen. I'm about to do this shit full time, yo. I'm about to finally just do it. Hell you yeah. Me? Hell yeah. Because a lot of niggas, that, that one shit I said, nigga, that's a risk. Like, niggas, a lot of niggas need to take, nigga, when you got to leave that motherfucker you with, dog. Man. Fuck that. Fuck her ass, nigga. She fucking over you, nigga. Oh, yeah. Man, dog. <laughs> like, man. That's I'm not on this even talking about, about that. <laughs> that's not even talking about that. Hey, then, all right. Also on that, on that track. You said cause a nigga, cause uh, cause niggas only call you when when the times are when the times get good, and that's true, nigga. Cause when you struggling, niggas ain't man. I don't want to hear from this nigga, shit, dog. Nigga struggling, like man, I don't, what? Nigga, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of times when you going through those days, bro, when you trying to you know pick yourself up and you going through a tough time, niggas will not pick up the phone. They will not pick up the phone. For most part, probably afraid that you about to have or something. Man. <laughs> <laughs> man. So like how that shit like how that shit work with you, bro? Like uh, listen, j- exactly how you said it. Yeah. It's just like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like if you uh, listen, if you ain't got it, yeah. and if you ain't got nothing important going on, man. ain't nobody calling you. No, for you sure. Feel me? For sure. What you got going on, new? Oh yeah, bro, yeah, this this then a third, this this then a third. Yeah. Like shit, what were you just saying when I was broke, nigga, trying to get all the money for this Hell shit yeah, to happen? Nigga, like, sure. nigga, Hell yeah. like and then, now you want to just be a part of something. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, shit, nigga, this should take work. Cause. I do. I do. Now with that song friends, nigga, what's your definition of a of a, of a real friend, bro? My definition of a real friend is just somebody I can just lean on. You feel mm-hmm. me? Every now and then. It ain't even that I, I don't got to be. It don't even got to be for money. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like, just, like, it don't never have to be no good or no bad. Like, we just tapped in. Like, we for just, sure. it's just a source. Like, if I'm down, shit, fuck it. We down together. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, me? Sure, like, yeah, yeah. shit, we, we going to have to find a way to get up. Like, yeah. that's it. Yeah, for you sure. You feel me? It's not hard to be, it's not hard to be, it's not hard to be nice. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? Like, and it's not hard to be mean. Yeah. You feel me? It's just what you want to do. Like, and it's not hard to find people that treat you with respect. For sure. So long as you find people that treat you with respect, you can call them a friend. You yeah. feel me? Hell yeah, hell yeah. But they- not, but like, listen, I'm talking about Real respect, yeah, yeah, like not just no, not just no. I'm leeching onto what you doing. You feel mm-hmm. me? I'm talking about like a real friend, like and the people people don't have real friends. It take and for you to find out if someone a real friend, it takes a lot of lot of time. Yeah. Oh, I got this little story. Let me just say this. Go ahead, man. She's talking shit. All right, so I got this little thing. A girl told me about this. Her name Jasmine or whatever. All she right. said life is like a tree or whatever. And, and you know, from then on, I've been, uh, you know, I kind of look, I kind of looked at it, yeah. right? So now I got in a little analogy that I say is like, you know, life is like a tree, right? Mm. You you meet people, right? That's like leaves. Yeah, for sure. So with the leaves of these people, you know, these people they not gonna stay around for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These people that's gonna come into your life or whatever, and they gonna be around seasonal, like. They, they might last a couple, like, a, yeah. you know, a year. Yeah. You feel me? They're going to be around for probably a year, too. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? But they not going to last long. Yeah, yeah. You feel sure. me? 
But those that are that's how leaves work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? But the way that you meet those leaves is through the branches, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of course life is like a tree. Yeah. Right? So when you meeting all these people through the branches, because the branches branch you off into so many different areas. Thanks. Like a branch can be someone that you doing business with. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And because they're not going to be around forever either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Branches don't stay around forever because of when storm come, yeah, yeah, you yeah, feel me? The it knocked the branches. It, brought, it knocked the branches down. Somebody come and get the pulling at the branch. Yeah, 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 they yeah. pull that bitch For off. Sure. Somebody saw it. They, <laughs> You feel me? Yeah. So that's why I say, okay, now you got people that's branches that's in your life. You, yeah. They meet you to the leaves, of course, though. Yeah, you feel what sure. I'm saying? Yeah, 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 I got so, it. <laughs> you feel me? But now I say this. Now... When you look at a tree, because I say a tree represents every person, right? Mm -hmm. Now, a tree is just a representative person of how many stems or how many times they've reached out to a person and, and all of the shit. Just think about it like yeah, that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But now, if you look at a tree, right, and it has its bark, like, stripped bare, it's either two things. Yeah. That person is either a fucked up person yeah. or that person is an old person and they're dying and withering away yeah. because of... That's how trees die when they don't got no more bark, right? For sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing about bark is, bark is something that you cannot pull all the way at one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, when you get to the bark, you got to pull at that shit and pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. You can pull off a big chunk at one time, but you can't snatch it all yeah, up at yeah, one for time. Sure. You snatch that whole motherfucker off. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, how did you push that many people away from you for you to... Not have a dying tree. Yeah, hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? This is a deep brother, dog, right here, dog. For real. But and see, when you tell that story, I can see how you is with your music. You, you, you are like a, a time person. That, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you take your time with shit, dog. That's, that's what cool. I'm but no, that shit is right. Yeah, you do got a motherfucking. Cause I'm when you were saying the story, I'm thinking about you know what I'm saying branches, leaves, who you meeting, who you connected with, dog. Cause I ain't connected with niggas off the podcast. Like just for example, my nigga Diddy. Then mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying with this nigga with things that got he got going on, motherfuckers come on the show like you need those connections to branch off and, and meet other motherfuckers. Dog. And that's how it works. And that's how bro. life works. And that's how it works. You know life is like a tree. And that's no. why when you see niggas in these positions, for the most part, it's through connections. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When nigga like damn, how you get that job? Like, or how you get in this situation? And that's when you gotta start as a as a creator, you gotta start talking to motherfuckers and so you can create those opportunities for yourself. Exactly, exactly. Cause if you stay bottled in that's just like nigga with B Kern on the show. You see him, you reach out to me, bam, bam. See, see, that's how it's. That's how. That's how the, the tree of life stem. Mm -hmm. You see, that's how the tree of life stem. Hell yeah, for and sure. And last but not least, you know, they say it's a thousand hacking at the branch to everyone at the stump. You yeah. feel me? Now it's it's birds pecking at the wood. It's people hanging at this, hanging on the tree. It's people, you know, it's lightning. Mm -hmm. But it's only one person that take to cut the whole tree down. For sure. So yeah, now yeah. you get a fucked up person in your life yeah. and they cut your shit down and now you feel empty. But yeah. the only thing about that is your roots. They don't ever go nowhere. And those are people that's going to always be with you. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's how I deep fuck, that shit is. Yeah, goes. I fuck with that. Uh, I fuck with that. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not, uh, damn, that was deep though, nigga. Sure. <laughs> now on, once, on the one song, uh, Up in the Sky, you say trying to climb to my trees, mm -hmm. trying to climb to the top without falling. I picked that bar off because, like, it's easy to be at the top. But when you climb into that bitch and you fall, how you gonna restart? How you gonna get back on your shit? You know see, what I'm saying? Is you gonna is see, that gonna deter you and make you just say I I give up, I quit? That's why I'm not no, hell no. Yeah. Like, man, listen. I done been in listen, I done been in the worst situation. Listen, I, I should I'm the person that should've quit. I'm mm -hmm. I'm the person that should've quit already. For sure. You feel me? Yeah. Like yeah. I'm the person that that should already quit. For sure, yeah, it should be over. <laughs> yeah. Like, it just bottom line is that. No, for sure. You feel me? Hell yeah, mm -hmm. that's it, though, dog. Now we always, you know, what I'm saying get to this part of the show when niggas rap, man. Let's get it. So I always reach out to niggas, dog, beforehand, cause I ain't gonna lie, I be nervous before I even, you know, what I'm saying fun, fun niggas and shit, dog. Yeah, yeah, all right. So you know, what I'm saying I reached out, you know, what I'm saying he said he'd do it, he was down with it. Let's get it. So I said bet. I, I told you just go to any beat like yeah. cause we've been on a we've been on a run niggas been wanting to rap dog at first you know what I'm saying I was I was you know percentage was kinda what kinda messed up nigga three out of ten nigga shooting thirty percent. Oh yeah, let's get now it. Now we this is another shy style Tuesday, man. Big chip in the motherfucking building. Good night to the back guy. Come on. The last time you're gonna see a back guy like this again. It's early. Oh yeah. I got y'all slowed me up. 
Don't worry about it. Look. Uh. Look, put me in a zone and watch me spit out greatness. You know me, I'm allergic to the fake shit Swag king, bitch, get money and we takes it I got big dreams, every night I gotta make it Blowing on bond skunk, and my nigga shy basement And Tweezy got the wine cause the kush just thinking And blowed in the bitch, and I'm sweating like I'm racing And I stay focused, and show them what I'm running like Smoke sticky weed, real gummy, right? Yeah, and you know it's kind of plummy guy But you can see me in G3 Wishing you can beat me while I'm flying down to Mexico Telling she gotta meet me, we pushing by the three You can call me CP3 Jeeps, Chief Chip, 3D off GP Not a mighty duck, but I be riding with the D3 Ice pack with me, cause my hips where the heat be Limping all day like I was born with three feet But blunt stay pearled in the bitch I'm a neat freak, a bus on your slut And peel out with a ski ski Tweet, tweet, peep me on your peep street Laughing at them haters, cause they know I'm staying focused I'm eating real smooth while they over there choking Money coming quick, send my bullets reloaded My high lick maneuver, put your stomach where your throat is, boy Sniper posted it numb, I'm just scoping Waiting on that boy to leave his chest wide open Zoom out, zoom in, 3080s toting Foreplay with the rifle, left my trigger finger stroking And blow, look, get me all the pretty bitches Guns and extensions, get more clips in order to see the change of pig bed. Hold on, let, hold on, wait a minute Oh, she's coming back, he's coming back Hold on, get me all the pretty Bitches, guns and extensions, get more clips, cause all they see the change of pigment. How this rapper out, blue hunters is my description. In the mirror, I see money. I got being frank descendants. Buzzing off bangers, then became a club favorite. Oh shit, man. Hey, but you know what, dog? I can tell when niggas come in, it's gonna be straight or not, dog. He went right into it, dog. So yeah, man. Just uh, you know what I'm saying? If you need a studio, dog, I got a nigga named P.O.G. dog. Good look, dog. Good look. No, that's good look. Cause like you could tell when the first bar come out, like, all right, this shit gonna be straight. <laughs> oh shit, this nigga rapping shit. Yeah, like, yeah, I can rap for real. <laughs> yeah. Cause some niggas are going that bitch to be like, oh yeah. I'm like, damn, why he say, like why 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 you say that? Like, <laughs> like why you do that? Why, why did you say you was gonna come on here and now, do that, bro? Now speaking of, you know what I'm saying, the name album and keep going and shit. When you um when you gonna drop the next project or you just gonna you know what I'm saying build on this on this uh, project you got right now? So I was trying to drop a video to well I got a, I'm putting the works together. I actually got my laptop in my backpack. Mm -hmm. I got like the little program or whatever. I'm trying to create the um the actual scenes for Fall and Six. Yeah. And then I want to do one more. I'm trying. All right. So Eric Quarter. That's why I'm trying to I'm trying to hit some shit. I'm trying to do some shit for Eric Quarter right quick mm -hmm. with my first album. And I want to get some more vibes with that, actually. For sure. You know what I mean? Just because of, I know that I need to build fans instead of trying to spend a lot of money For sure, fans. On doing different things. Hell yeah. And I don't even have a, and I don't even have that big of a fan base yet. So sure. I'm trying to build a fan base, let people get a chance to get to know me. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? And then. Then drop more shit. You feel me? But then drop name. Yeah, you get yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? For sure. So that's what make me want to drop named even more. That's what's making me press the way that I'm pressing. Yeah. You feel me? Just to make a name for who Big Chip is. No, that's that's fast, dog. Cause mm -hmm. a lot of niggas try to drop so much shit, but niggas ain't really knowing them. So like, I think like the best thing to do is just to build off the project that you know, what I'm saying that yeah. person got right now, just to build that buzz up. So nigga, mm -hmm. like, oh, oh shit, niggas, right? This you know nigga what I'm saying? Hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I gotta be, dog. Mm -hmm. Nigga, with this music shit, though, it can be motherfucking frustrating. Nigga, be a headache and shit, dog. Um, you know, has it been a time that you was like, man, fuck this music, I'm, I'm good on it? Um, you know, it's always, we always get that. Yeah. We always get to that point, mm -hmm. you know, when we like, man, fuck this shit. But like I said, shit, I've been, I've been thinking shit in the beginning. I said shit, I've been thinking about shit, doing production shit. Yeah, for sure. You Hell feel yeah. me? But it's always going to be music. Like, yeah. I'm going to always, at the end of the day, I'm going to always, if I always find myself turning back to music and listening to some music and writing down mm -hmm. then what is the reason to ever stop yeah facts. you get what i'm yeah. saying hell yeah yeah you ever you ever so you ever got to your uh engineer producer mode like you know how to like tap into that like, uh, to mix up and record i niggas? haven't i haven't done it for anyone else but i did that for my whole nameless album i oh, did all up? of it yeah i actually i i did that shit on my Facebook, I used to do a live video, right? I used to let people see me making the songs from top to bottom. Yeah. You feel me? I mix and record and mix and master. Yeah. And that's the thing about, that's the thing that I don't want to do no more, really, because 
at the end of the day, when I'm creating music, I want to just be straight in the floor creating music instead of getting in the floor creating music and then getting down into mixer and, and engineer mode. And now I'm getting technical in my head, yeah. brain brain yeah. getting technical with timing with the slots and shit like that sure. instead of getting up and just being and in the floor of the zone. The song. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be having to click between both parts of my brain back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You yeah. get what I'm saying? And that's what I don't really want to do no more, actually. Yeah, for sure. You know for what sure. I'm it's funny you say uh, you got the song Phone Sex, dog. I, I never did that shit, though, but I remember one time in high school, a chick was doing that shit. I didn't know what to say. Like, hey, listen. Hey, I'm touching myself. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> No, it's like it's like I don't know what to say. Like, it, it's not even it's not even like that. It's like this. It's phone sex is more like this. You get a you get a call from your girl. She like basically I want to fuck. Basically. Yeah, 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 for That's sure. basically yeah, yeah. phone sex. Like she telling you I want to fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you like basically shit. I can't fuck you right now. Yeah. I'm not in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically what phone yeah, but sex I'm gonna get is. where I get to it. I'm sure you already know. You know, gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. you know what type of time I be you on. Know, you feel when you're me? You watching movies like yeah, I'm touching myself. Yeah, Ooh. no. So that, that's why I was like. That's why you listen Nobody. to the song. Yeah. You feel me? Like in the song is is basically telling you like shit. You feel me? Yeah. I I see you when I get there. For sure, you feel for sure. Me? Hell yeah. Like, Hell yeah, because you look at the you white can, You can show me your pictures of you naked, yeah. telling me, oh yeah, look how I'm right here like this yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. me? You can do all that shit, you feel me? But shit, if I'm not there, what, the, what can I do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for but sure. But tell you I'll be there for yeah, you yeah. when I get there. Yeah, you know yeah. what time I'm on, I do. Then you got hope she hold yeah. out. Like, hold out. Yeah. Like, don't be one of them motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, yeah. Bro, you had hey, one. listen, listen. You had one of them motherfuckers that, you, you know, too long. You call me to tell me that shit? Yeah, I ain't. I don't even care, shit. When I get there, just make sure you have it for me. I'm sure you let another nigga slide you. It's not like you my bitch. You feel me? So shit. You feel me? As long as we protect it, we good. Oh, yeah. Now, nigga. Uh, one thing, last thing about the music shit, though. Like, do you um ever think about like maybe you should move just to get more of a buzz and go somewhere else, dog? Man, that's what my cousin. That's what Kern was just telling me, dog. Yeah. Kern was just telling me like, bro, nigga, bro, for your type of music, bro, you gotta leave, bro. Yeah. yeah. You gotta leave, bro. <laughs> I'd be like, bro, I don't gotta leave, bro. I can do that shit here. He like, bro, dog. Listen, I'm trying to tell you, bro. I got your best interest. Yeah. I'm like, all right, bro. Yeah. yeah. What so, would you What would you think about going if you did leave? Bro, I, I really feel like I was born for New York. Like, yeah. I just really feel like that. Yeah, like yeah. Like, if I go to New York, L.A., I know it's sunny and shit. You know what I'm saying? For but sure. I just really feel like I was born to be in New York, like, and just living that life. You know what I mean? Yeah, hell yeah. Fast, fast life. Fast, quick yeah. life, you know, street life. Like, it ain't even really street life, but it's like street life. You get yeah. what I'm saying? For sure. Hell it's yeah. It's just a... Yeah, yeah. Me? Now, dog, you, uh, you a father, you got a girl and a boy... You know what I'm saying? How how is how is big chip as a motherfucking big dad? <laughs> hey, listen, look, um, I don't get to see my kids as much. I'm gonna tell y'all the straight up truth. I wish I could, okay. you know. But you know it's the same story, you mm -hmm. know, that go on nigga baby mama problems. This is that mm -hmm. it's the same story, so I ain't about to go over it. You I mean, know how that shit goes. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? Part two and but shit. When I when I um when I am, you mm -hmm. feel me, you know, I'm the I'm the best I can be. For sure. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? I'm I'm the best I can be. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, that's, that's as, I can say, as as a parent, bro, you can only be the best that you can be, dog. That's all like I it's, can it's be, a, man. you know, especially like nigga shit, when you young, it's trial and error, though. Like you learn from your shit, bro. Cause I'm a better dad now than I was when I had my first son, because if my first son, I'm fucking 19, I'm not knowing, like, damn, Man. nigga, I gotta, like, I gotta be up and, like, I gotta do that, that shit. shit. That shit, this shit, my shit fucked up, boy. My shit be fucked up, boy. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, my shit be fucked up. I, I, I hate, I, I hate it, though, for real, for real. It's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, but it's, yeah, it's you, shit like it's shit like you. It's like you smile to keep them crying. Type yeah, shit, I know for me? sure. Hell yeah, when you going through that shit, I already know, dog. Shit, mm. we ain't got to pretend on that. <laughs> no, I mean <laughs> shit. I'm a real nigga. I mean yeah. it happens. You feel? No, me? for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. But just like I just only thing I only, only advice I just man just shit when you can just shit just, just be there and shit. And then Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying. The next if you ever have have another kid, just shit you just know what you. You know what I'm saying? Man, I can't handle it. And they say, no, nigga, no. Oh, I tried that shit two times. <laughs> yeah. Time, bro. She might meet the motherfucker. I'm going to have to just listen, me, listen. Meet, meet Miss Chip, nigga. Like, she might be there. I mean, she, 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 she's talking about Miss Chip. <laughs> listen, she could be a good woman for me. You know, I can. I want to find a good woman, of course, you know. For sure. But at the end of the day, yeah. you know, like, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. Because in the end, mm -hmm. like, when my kids do 
be older yeah. 18 years down the line they will be able to have someone to lean on just in case yeah. you feel me for like sure. of course i'm gonna always try to be there for them but that's why i have to put myself in the best position for to be a, yeah, whenever yeah. whenever they funny ass mamas try, not whenever they try to yeah. you know what i mean you, yeah you, you, feel be, me? you be right there for the hand like nigga, i'm good hell yeah you i feel, feel me? you okay i'll cool. feel you I'm Not, ready and willing. You hell yeah. Me? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Shout out to everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Going through those situations, dog. You know what I'm saying? Stay strong. All that good shit, man. For sure, for sure. Stay Not, strong. Uh, yeah, now with, um, I'm the spokesman for people like oh, you. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. <laughs> hell yeah. Now, you know, growing up, bro, I don't know the age. Uh, you, you you probably closer to the current age and junk like that, whatever. I'm um, 30. I'll be 30 March 8th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. Happy birthday, nigga, in Thank advance you. and shit, dog. Mm -hmm. That's dad to my dad's birthday. My, it's shit, March 7th. Mm -hmm. So, uh, dog, you, you been breaking the band? Yes, yeah. I do. All right, dog. We always ask this question, dog, at the end, dog. If you had one album, bro, hypothetically, dog, and it was you and four other motherfucking bandmates, it could be rappers, singers, producers, you and those four other people, who would it be, dog? Industry people. Industry people? Yeah, you and four other people, bro. Like I said, right. singers, rappers, producers, whoever fits your band, but you and four other people. All right, listen. I'm about to tell y'all. Janae Aiko mm -hmm. is, the, is the female that I need. Yeah, I like right? her. I like her. Now, I had two of them. Yeah. You got two. Yeah, Who, it's your shit. All right, all right. And then, now, I got Nick Mira as my producer. Okay. Right? You know who Nick Mira is? No, put me here. What he, what he did? I got to look he, it up. He tapped in with Juice World and all them them songs. Okay, like okay, that. okay, okay. Um, okay. You got two more, dog. Plus I got you. Two, all right, I got I to gotta have. I got to have. I gotta have Future in there with me, y'all. Okay. I'm not even gonna lie. I gotta have Future <laughs> in there with me. Me, Future, Janae Aiko, and one more. Yep. Mm. Cause you already got your producer already. All right. Mm. Damn. That's crazy. Hell yeah, that shit hard, bro. Ooh, that's a crazy question. <laughs> shit, I wasn't expecting that one. You know, man. All right, um... He think about everybody too. He rolled the decks on that one. Yeah, cause that's the last one, dog. You. Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say, um. Damn, I, I wanna, I just wanna have Pharrell there too. I wanna have two producers. Okay, hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So you, Janae, I wanna have Future. Nick Mir, Future, and Janae. Yeah. I just use them too. And Pharrell. And, yep, and yeah, Pharrell. And the Pharrell, he, he can do both. He can do music and he can yeah, do producer he, shit. Yeah, he, he do some shit. He'll, you know what I'm saying? He do some shit. We do what, some shit. What if, now? What if you had a throwback group? You and four throwback artists. Throwback artist. Yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta fuck with Nas. All right. Of, uh, of course, I gotta fuck with Lauren Hill. All of right. course, I gotta fuck with um. If I could fuck with Tupac too, Nas, Tupac. Yeah, Lauren yeah. Hill. Man, Lauren Shit. Hill. And hey, you got one more person though. Who go? Who, who? Uh, fuck it. I'm gonna fuck with um. I'm gonna fuck with um. Ice Cube. Oh shit, hell yeah. I'm gonna fuck with Ice Cube. Yeah, man. Group, dude, you, got some go crazy. you got some militant motherfuckers in there, boy. Go crazy, <laughs> boy. We go crazy. Yeah, yeah. Ice deal, Cube boy. don't get his just due, bro. <laughs> he don't get his respect that he deserved, dog. All right, dog. You know what I'm saying? Versus battle. I give you two categories. I mean, mm -hmm. two two things, you know what I'm saying? You tell me who who going to win the outcome. All right? Summertime mm -hmm. gear versus wintertime gear. Wintertime gear for sure, for sure. Hell yeah, you get to yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, motherfucking um, slim chick, thick chick, slim chick. Okay, ass or titties, man. <laughs> I'm more of a titty man, but I, she gotta have at least a decent. You yeah. know, I like I like more girls who bodies proportion right. Like like yo, shit look weird. Like okay, like. Duh. You don't have to have that big of titties. Like, your shit don't have to be that big. Man, your ass don't gotta be that big. Yeah. KD's versus Kyrie's, the shoes. KD's versus Kyrie's? Yeah. Mm, I'm gonna fuck with the Kyrie's. All right, bad, bad, bad. Uh, motherfucking uh, Mike Vick or motherfucking uh, 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 what's his name? Mike Vick. Oh, <laughs> that's my favorite football player. That's my favorite that's football player. That's how I, that was my style of play. I'm about to say Patrick like, Mahomes, Mike Vick. Man, hell no. I pick uh, uh, <laughs> Mike Vick, man. Tom Brady, uh, Peyton Manning. I'm fucking with my nigga Tom. All right, go ahead, uh, motherfucking uh, Peasy versus Sada. I'm fucking with my nigga Peasy. Ain't gonna cap. All right, Payroll versus Vezo. Vezo, I'm fucking with my nigga Payroll. Oh, yeah, yeah Payroll don't get hit. Team Eastside versus Doughboy. 
I'm fucking with Doughboys. Yeah. Wait, yeah. payroll? I, you say my nigga payroll? Yeah. Man, I'm fucking with my nigga payroll, bro. Oh, yeah, hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, but Doughboy versus uh, Team Eastside. You say Doughboy as a group, not as a uh, individual. Doughboys versus Team Eastside. Doughboys. Yeah, hell yeah. Doughboys. Niggas don't give like, wait, wait a minute. My nigga payroll the hardest. Oh, no, hell yeah. Hold on. I fucked up. I, I wasn't listening. I, was, I just but No, heard. you, you had paid payroll. Okay. I, yeah. right. hey, man, hey, man, I've been trying to get you on the show, bro, for a long time, nigga. I don't know who it go to, dog. <laughs> I think yeah, payroll, dog, I, I, to me, I just, honestly, I think he probably the hardest nigga in the city. Like, and he, he most, shit, damn near the most consistent. I mean, the only person up there who dropped as much as him probably Vezo. That nigga hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Hell yeah. The roller Geo, nigga, no cap. That the, nigga is hard, bro. Hell yeah, hell yeah, mm -hmm. dog. Uh, uh, in person game versus DM game. In person, in person. Yeah, yeah, that DM shit. In I, person. You, you, mm -hmm. I know you probably dropped DM here and there. Right? I, I, I be trying. <laughs> that, that DM shit boring though. Yeah. Like, I gotta do too much, like, like finessing, and then I gotta do all that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. it's cool if I just meet you in person. You feel me? You catch the vibe, and then after we catch a vibe in person, yeah. like, cause I'll be the met you out, and then you been weird as hell. Yeah, yeah, you be like, sure. damn, like, hell yeah. you didn't look like this. No, old. for sure. <laughs> producer Kanye or producer uh, uh for mm. real. It's production, Ooh, no music. Yeah, I mean, a, no I'm, rapping. You know what? Ah, man. You know, man, I don't know, bro. But listen, though, Kanye know how to produce, bro. But for Hell real, yeah. know how to produce, too. That is a <laughs> big one. So you say you, you plead the fifth on that one, huh? Yeah, I have to plead the fifth <laughs> All on right, that burgers one. Burgers versus tacos. Uh, Tacos, for sure. All right, nigga. Jordan versus LeBron. Jordan. Okay, I'm about to say, I was going to see how real nigga you was, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to be disappointed, dog. <laughs> dog I'm about to say, man. old school rap versus new school rap. Old school rap. All right, last but not least, dog. Pop versus Nas. Pop. All right, yeah, okay, okay. Now, last, Nas my nigga, though. Yeah, well, yeah, that's my favorite, nigga. My mm -hmm. top three is Nas, Pac, and Wayne. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's yeah, a good top three. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my That's a shit. solid top three. Hell yeah, dog. All right, dog. I'll give you a category. Give me your top three. Mm -hmm. Top three childhood celebrity crushes. Uh, Maya. Oh, hell yeah. Nigga, she vegan now. She the girl look. who played in um Soul Plane. Uh, oh, the one who was on, who was working on that shit. Was she on Friday too? No, no, yeah, yeah, no, the one who was at the door, his girlfriend, when he walked up to the door and she was there with the oh, yeah, 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 brown yeah, yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To my Kevin Hart girl? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. She was serious. <laughs> and um, shit, I liked it. Um, What's her name? I still like Kelly Rowland to this day. Hell yeah, hell, Kelly Rowland bad. Nigga. I love <laughs> Kelly Rowland, dog. Hell yeah, hell Kelly yeah. Kelly Rowland, something serious. Bro. Top three, uh, top three movies, dog. Top three movies. All right, um, Back to the Future. All right, I wasn't expect that one. Um, <laughs> that was a, that was some shit when I was little. I used to yeah, like Back to the Future for sure, for sure. All right. Um, what else? Fucking uh, that what's the name shit? Uh, the Underworld series. All right. Right, uh, so I'm gonna say that the What's the Name series, the Back to the Future series, the Underworld series, and um, shit, even the uh, Batman series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Top three, uh, top three TV shows. All right, listen, it's this shit called True Blood. All right. That's a great one. The top three, I gotta put, I gotta put The Walking Dead in the top three. That's yeah. a, that's a top yeah. three. -er. My wife was watching that shit too. I forgot that one nigga died. She started crying. Um, <laughs> Uh, and one more. Yep. I'm gonna say Mad Men. All right. Mm -hmm. I gotta get hips to some of these other shows, dog. I'm, I'm just some fucking comedy nigga and shit, dog. Mad Men is about niggas who fucking um, they're they're uh, commercial salesmen. Okay. Like they sell cigarettes, yeah. but then they get to doing all type of shit. He a player too. That yeah, shit yeah, low key yeah. crazy. But it's like about white men and shit, though. Like white men scandals and shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Give me your top three food. Uh. Like, I like I like rices and shit, so I can say Thai foods, hibachi, and um, Thai food. All right. Um, I say, I guess hibachi and fucking um, shit. Mm, I don't really, I don't really eat too much. Uh, I guess I, I'm in breakfast food. Yeah, well you pancake mm -hmm. nigga. Hold on, nigga. It's gonna tell me a lot, nigga. Pancakes, waffles, or French toast, nigga. Uh, waffles. <sighs> waffles or French toast. I ain't gonna even cap. You ain't no pancake nigga like that. Dog. Listen, I'm gonna tell you, though. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all. Listen, I used to be a pancake nigga, bro. But listen, <laughs> so when I was a kid, bro, my people's one of my people's, bro. They, they. I was a kid. Now they was mean as hell to me when I was a kid, right? Yeah. And nigga, they made me. 
they cooked me some pancakes, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they only cooked the bottom and made me eat the shit all on top with, no. with the mushy as hell. <laughs> mean as hell type shit. Dog, mean what the fuck you do for them? Bro, <laughs> the oh, man, that was just mean as hell. Dog, that shit crazy, dog. Damn, so I even flipped that bitch? No flip. <laughs> no flip. I'm talking about laughing, dog. That shit crazy. So I, so I always never ate a uh, pancake. Okay, well, yo, I ain't mad at you without eating pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> that was so traumatic, dog. Did, so I'm like, damn. Give me your top three shit you eat when you high, dog. Uh, like some hot jump food. Chips. Chips, um, them no toffee fade things or turtles. Yeah. Um shit, chips for real. <laughs> chips. <laughs> yeah. I eat chips like a motherfucker. I'm not even gonna lie. Them bitches. <laughs> no. they, hey, oh, oh, that's funny, right? Yeah, big chip. I'm not even thinking about it. <laughs> big chip ass nigga eating chips. Hey, that's shit. funny as hell. No, last one, dog. <laughs> Give me your motherfucking uh top three underrated rappers. Top like three. the top three rappers that you feel don't get the love they should. Uh, Joy Joiner Lucas. Okay, he dope nigga. Oh, come um, on, show you from you from this year. Uh, Joiner Lucas, this nigga named Nasty, but y'all y'all won't even know y'all y'all won't even know Nasty because he a, he a low upcoming rapper. Okay, this nigga named Nasty, and then um, shit, me. Now, dog, we always end every show like I told you, bro, with a high moment. Or a drunk moment, dog. Funny story when you was one or both. All right. Oh my God. Listen. So listen. We out. Um. You said now a hot or a drunk moment. All right. Listen. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna give you a drunk moment. Mm -hmm. No. Listen. We down in um fucking like. I'm with my bro them dog. Like mm -hmm. I think we had we in um we had Delta. We down there by sagging on you. Oh yeah. My, my brother went to college. You feel me? Yeah. So we had Delta, right, dog? Yeah. This thing got the hoes coming in and shit. You know what I'm saying? Back door, front door action. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we drinking all day. You feel me? Long story short, I get so drunk or whatever after being out with these niggas, bro. We all sitting around the table, right? It's like we all sitting around the yeah. table just like this. Yeah. So as we sitting around the table or whatever, you know, I say fuck it, you feel me? Cause I, I'm thinking I'm about to throw up, but I'm, I'm really not. I'm really like fuck it. I ain't about to throw up. Yeah. I drink the beer, right? You know how when you get when you get to drink and shit, your start, your shit fill up. When yeah, you're about to throw tight. Up. Yeah. Bro, man, I threw up like this. Like you know how like like on um that one movie when that when that person just got to throwing up like this. Uh, Are you going, uh, uh, ha ha? Yeah. I did. I I literally did that shit like like. Uh, <laughs> that shit was crazy no. as hell. Hold on, nigga. Who cleaned it up, then? Bro, I, I ended up cleaning. Oh, but it. It. it was like it was like everybody was looking like, cause it was like it was like cartoonish like. So it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like it was like crazy. It was like a crazy moment. So it was Duh. just like out of nowhere. Like that motherfucker was coming out crazy. Yeah, that shit was crazy. No, so but, you 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 ain't no drinker then. No, I'm not you, a drinker. No. Yeah, but no. So that, then um, I fucking passed out one time, dog. Like I fucking passed out. Smoking bro. or drinking? Uh, no, I was drinking. Yeah. I was with my bro Kev or whatever, and then we went down to um, we went down. He was playing. Yeah, it was it was still in Saginaw. So I went down there with him this time. Man, we drinking and shit, bro. Nigga, we get outside. We was at a capper party or some shit like that, bro. Yeah. Man, I fuck around. I get to drinking with they ass, nigga. We come out. This is down the third. I'm buzzed, bro. What the <laughs> fuck, man? We was drinking some fucking, um, what is that white, that white liquor called? Fucking, not, um, crit, the one with the great goose, man. Okay. We was oh, drinking shit. some fucking great goose. Man, on uh, the way down there, bro. The whole way down there. I guess I'm road weary. We get to party and shit, nigga. I get outside, the bitch get to dancing on me, right? <laughs> so we cool and I'm good, nigga. <laughs> Next thing you know, I pass out, boom. I look up. My bro asking me, cuz, is you all right? I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck? Duh. Nigga. Nigga. Somebody still off. Somebody still off on me or some shit. Duh. What the fuck? Nigga went from dancing on some ass and bro, eating like, gravel, what the nigga. Fuck? Duh. Duh. Nigga ain't still off on me or nothing. You know what I'm saying? He like, Duh. bro, you just passed out, bro. You need some water? 
I'm like, damn, bro. No, I'm saying seeing, seeing this picture and you just get out of the car and just dancing. Nigga. <laughs> like, like, bro, I'm dancing. Like, I, that's the last thing I remember. A bitch dancing on me like, I'm going crazy. Like, yeah. No, that's Next funny as hell, dog. Ground. Man, what well, shit, man? Like, bro, you good, good? You just passed off, bro. <laughs> Damn. Dancing the ground, nigga. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> funny as hell. Man, where can the people, uh, you know what I'm saying, find your music, find your socials, all that good shit, man? All right, so you can find me on IG at Lost Ones. That's L-O-S-T-W-O-N-S, Big Chip underscore. Feel me? You can find my music on all platforms from Pandora to Tidal to YouTube. You know, whatever you name, you know, if you like Spotify, if you like Apple Music, you can find it everywhere. Like you know what I mean? I do wish y'all could purchase that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you have to, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? But it would be a blessing, you know what I mean? I would appreciate that. That would be mad love, you know? So. Same thing on Facebook, Lost Ones, Big Chip. You know, follow my music page and follow my personal That'd be cool. You for know, sure, for sure. Real. You want to leave people out with some uh, motherfucking encouraging, motivating words, dog? Yeah. I'm going to just say this. Unlimited blessings, peace and prosperity, life and longevity to you and your family. Feel me? For sure, for sure. Uh, man, you know. I appreciate you coming on this bitch, dog. Had to get you on, man. I knew it took yes, a little sir. time, but we had no, to make it vibes. happen. It's vibes. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You, it's, it's just salute to you, bro, for, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because you, you reached out and was talking about how like, you, nigga, you like the podcast, how I was yeah. going to do big things, so... Shit, I appreciate you, you know what I'm mm -hmm, saying, saying mm -hmm. that shit. Yep. And uh shit, man. I ain't got nothing to, I ain't got no motivating words to leave nobody off with, dog. Shit, just uh hey man, get off your ass if you laying on the ground, nigga. Man, for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Sovereign's everybody, man, voice of Detroit Podcast MVP. Let's